on the early morning of 18th June 2014. 57-year-old Jani Liggins, a daycare centre director, was driving home when she was suddenly stopped by Daniel Holtzclaw, then an Oklahoma City police officer who was also driving to his residence in his assigned vehicle. And what followed was not what Liggins expected. It all started like a routine traffic record check, but eventually, Holtzclaw proceeded to sexually assault the lady. Liggins, who got intimidated by the officer's threats, could not defend herself. But after the incident, she immediately reported the assault to Oklahoma City detectives who acted swiftly, arresting Holtzclaw hours later when he reported to work. The arrest and the eventual sentencing of Daniel Holtzclaw would turn out to be a landmark case of multiple sexual assaults even as more victims turned out to reveal the ordeal they went through at the hands of Holtzclaw. Be sure to watch this video till the very end to uncover the chilling case of Daniel Holtzclaw, a former police officer who abused his power in the most horrifying way imaginable. Honestly, this story will leave you speechless, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's get straight into the video. Following the arrest of Daniel Holtzclaw, an intense investigation was carried out to find out any other victims who could have suffered at the hands of the former police officer. And boy, it was shocking to realize that Jani Liggins' terrifying encounter was not an isolated incident. More victims turned out during the trial sessions. To be specific, over 13 women, all of them black and most living in challenging circumstances, testified against Holtzclaw accusing him of rape and assault. Holtzclaw had exploited their vulnerabilities, often using their criminal histories to coerce them. And as investigators delved deeper, they uncovered a troubling pattern in Holtzclaw's actions. They believed he targeted women with criminal backgrounds, including drug use and prostitution, as he thought that they would be seen as less credible if they came forward with accusations. His abuse of power seemed calculated and sinister, exploiting the vulnerabilities of his victims. Holtzclaw's victims, including Carla Raines and Sherry Ellis, bravely shared their accounts, revealing a predator who exploited his position of power. These women, from different walks of life, all endured the same ordeal. They were subjected to invasive searches, coerced into performing sexual acts and left traumatized by their encounters with Holtzclaw. And, as the number of victims grew, dedicated detectives like Kim Davis worked tirelessly to bring justice to those who had suffered at the hands of this corrupt officer. The investigation intensified, uncovering Holtzclaw's excessive false complaints and a troubling history of misconduct. It all came clear that Holtzclaw was just a serial rapist under the cover of police ranks, and he definitely deserved to account for his heinous crimes. And to solidify the case even more, the investigators relied heavily on witness testimonies, DNA evidence and the credibility of the accusers. Throughout the investigation and trial, Daniel Holtzclaw maintained his innocence adamantly. He insisted that the allegations were motivated by a vendetta from the detectives and prosecution. His family, firmly standing by him, emptied their life savings and pension to fund his defense. Holtzclaw's supporters, like former teammate Cortland Selman, believe in his innocence and flew across the country to attend the trial. The trial sessions would end up taking six weeks, spreading across one year with four days of deliberation, but all this was for a good reason, and that's to get enough evidence and witness to convict Holtzclaw and grant the victims the justice they desired. Eventually, in December 2015, the trial reached its climax and Holtzclaw was charged with 36 counts related to rape, sexual battery and other charges. The courtroom was packed to capacity as people gathered to listen to the judgment against an officer who misused his powers to assault vulnerable women. The survivors courageously took the stand, recounting their harrowing experiences and seeking justice for themselves and others. But even before the ruling, Holtzclaw's attorney filed a motion for a new trial, alleging that the state withheld evidence and denied him a fair trial. However, the judge denied this motion, bringing the trial to its conclusion. Holtzclaw's choice of victims became a central focus of his defense strategy. 
His attorney attempted to undermine their credibility by questioning their past behaviors and criminal records. However, the accusers presented consistent testimonies, recounting how Holt's claw has isolated, assaulted, and terrorized them into silence. In fact, the court was left in shock as one survivor shared a harrowing experience of being driven to a field, raped in the back of Holt's claw's squad car, and left alone. She felt powerless as she was a police officer and she was just a woman. Another victim, a 17-year-old girl, testified that Holtzclaw raped her on her mother's front porch, threatening her with an outstanding warrant. These stories echoed the systemic abuse of power, and one wonders how all these heinous crimes happened without any arrests being made, and why did it take so long for the police to act? Anyway, that was just in the past. What was more important is for justice to be served to the victims. And sure enough, the moment of reckoning arrived. The all-white jury delivered a mixed verdict. Holtzclaw was convicted on 18 of the 36 counts he faced, including rape, sexual battery, and forcible oral sodomy. The jury sentenced him to an astounding 236 years in prison. The victims, who had urged for the maximum punishment, saw this as a significant victory. Jenny Liggins, one of the survivors who called the police resulting in Holt's Claw's arrest, expressed her relief and stated that justice was served not only for her, but for victims across the nation who suffered at the hands of Holt's Claw, the rogue police officer. Benjamin Crump, a prominent civil rights attorney representing several of the victims, termed the magnitude of this sentence as a landmark victory in the history of the criminal justice system. He called it a statement against centuries of racism, oppression, and sexual assault against black women. Indeed, this case has shed light on the struggle of countless unknown women who have suffered similar injustices. Now, the sentencing of Holt's Claw brings a sense of closure for the survivors, as they can now begin to rebuild their lives. However, it also raises questions about the actions of the Oklahoma City police officials. Lawsuits have been filed against Holt's Claw and the city, alleging that officials were aware of the ongoing investigation into Holt's Claw's sex crimes but allowed him to remain on duty. The real reason why Holt's Claw continued to serve despite cases having been filed against him in the past still remains a mystery. And the eventual swift response from the police investigators after Jenny Liggins reported, of course, raises more questions, with some considering it deliberate. What's the state of responsiveness of the Oklahoma authorities? The answers to this question may take longer to arrive at. But of the essence, lawsuits have been filed to uncover the truth and determine if the city's actions were adequate. Honestly, this tells you more people are likely to face trial and even get convicted along with Holtzclaw. The sexual assault case against Daniel Holtzclaw was not just discussed within the corridors of the court, but also got intense reactions from the public. Some saw Holtzclaw as a monstrous predator who abused his power and targeted vulnerable women, while others believed that he was a victim of a flawed investigation and biased trial. The case sparked debates about racial biases within the criminal justice system and the credibility of the witnesses. Above all, Daniel Holtzclaw still maintains innocence and plans to appeal his conviction, desperate to clear his name. And even as the debate rages on, we may never know the complete truth about what happened between Holtzclaw and his accusers. Was he indeed a rogue cop abusing his authority, or did he become the target of a flawed investigation? The case of Daniel Holtzclaw will surely continue to be a topic of discussion and speculation for years to come, leaving us questioning the integrity of the criminal justice system and the role of law enforcement in our society. Indeed, this case serves as a stark reminder that evil can lurk in unexpected places. At the same time, it highlights the importance of speaking out against abuse, regardless of the abuser's position. So there you have it, guys. What are your thoughts on this controversial sexual assault case? Do you believe justice was served, or was there a miscarriage of justice? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as usual, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more intriguing content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.